This is the Dacia Logan MCV. I know, another set of those acronyms that car makers are so fond of. In this case, the MCV stands for Maximum Capacity Vehicle. Makes it sound like it's going into battle, doesn't it? And in some ways, that's what the cheapest estate car on sale in Britain today is doing. It's going into battle to try and put the boot into its rivals. And price is the key weapon in Dacia's arsenal. Go for the basic model and you can buy one of these as of January 2015 for just £6,995. The Logan is the latest car from the cheap and cheerful Romanian car maker, which these days is owned by Renault. And yes, you can't fail to notice that it's very, very, very long. Four and a half metres long to be precise. Now, it seems a little bit unfair to talk about how the Dacia looks. Let's just say that it's a car that only a mother could love. Only this mother isn't that keen on it. So let's instead move on to the positives. And the positive that springs to mind when I'm sitting in here is just how well-built and well-designed lots of other car interiors are these days, because this isn't one of them. And then I remind myself that this is a very inexpensive car, and it doesn't seem too bad in here. It's bright and airy. This is the basic entry-level model and you certainly get all the basics. You get power steering, although the steering wheel doesn't adjust. There's a heater. There are windows that sadly you have to wind up and down manually and that is about it. Now that's because Dacia have a policy called eliminating the unnecessary, which basically means getting customers to choose and then pay for the things that they value. And on this model, the extras include a spare wheel, and check this out, a CD player with a pop-off front. Haven't seen one of those in ages. You'd have to be very, very tall to not be comfortable here in the back seats. There's loads of uh, legroom, loads of headroom. Three adults will fit in here easily. And two Isofix Chelsea points come fitted as standard, which is something that really impresses me. And another thing that impresses on a car this size is, of course, the boot, which is absolutely enormous. Let's take a look at this. It's huge. I think I could almost lie down in here. Ah, oh, while it's tempting to have a rest, I can't. Lots more to tell you. Running costs will generally be low as parts are cheap and servicing can be done at any Renault dealership. And if you want, you can opt for a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, which will cost just £850. The Logan comes with a choice of three engines, two petrol and one diesel, all of which are supplied by Renault, which should give you some peace of mind when it comes to reliability. Now, our pick of the bunch is the 1.5-litre diesel, which Dacia claim will do 74 miles to the gallon and is free to tax. This, however, is the 1.1-litre petrol engine. It gives you around 49 miles to the gallon, no nowhere near as impressive as the diesel. And whilst this engine is okay when you're carrying just a couple of passengers, when you've got a full load and a full seat in the back, it gets very heavy going. Now, the Logan MCV feels like a budget car to drive. There's no disguising that. It's by no means terrible, but it really does lack any polish. There's too much noise and vibration coming up through the floor for my liking. And whilst the gearbox feels solid, it's a pain to get into gear at times. And at slower speeds, the steering feels stiff and heavy, making it awkward to park. I'm also not sure if I want to do too long a journey in this car. Comfort isn't the word that springs to mind in this seat, and the ride quality is a bit harsh too. I did a couple of hours in the car to get here this morning, and I had a bit of lower back ache when I got out of it. Another point to consider is that once you tire of your Dacia Logan, it isn't going to be worth that much. Now that's partly, of course, because it's so cheap to buy in the first place. And if you're the kind of buyer who likes to haggle about price and wants to hammer down a great deal, then you'll also have to bear in mind that you're not going to get much joy from a Dacia salesperson. So there you have it, the Dacia Logan MCV. It's very, very long, and did I mention it's very, very cheap? So if you're on a tight budget and need lots of space, and you can accept that you get what you pay for, then the Dacia Logan MCV is well worth a look. If you're looking for something a bit more at market and happy to sacrifice a bit of room, check out our Seat Ibiza ST video. But if space on a budget is important, have a look at the Peugeot Bipper TP. Click the icon to watch our latest video and click the logo to subscribe.